All right, welcome back. Just a couple of minutes ago, we told you about the big announcement from Convoy of Hope and the brand new headquarters. We're going to go back out there right now to Tom to learn a little bit more about this incredible organization that Hal Donaldson built not all that long ago and into such a force. Tom, what can you tell us now? Well, you know, you basically said it, and think of how fortuitous it was for this area for him to move here and continue his outreach to people. And it's gone from giving food out to some people to giving food and help to people all over the world. Again, I have Sarah Foreheads with me. She's the international spokesperson for Convoy of Hope. And we wanted to get into a little bit to the Convoy of Hope. A whole lot more than that. I mean, most people see us rolling down the highway in the semi truck, um, and we do a lot of that because that's disaster response. Um, and that happens when there's any sort of natural disaster. But beyond that, something that happens 24 7, 365, like a well oiled machine, is there's a women's feeding program or a women's empowerment program. So we feed them and we teach them a skill set. So essentially, whatever is indigenous to their area. So if they're making shoes, um, learning how to make beads, learning how to make clothing, like something that their area, um, 21 different countries, something that they need, and then we teach them how to like book keep essentially. So they basically are pulling themselves and their entire family out of poverty mm -hmm. because they're learning how to work. Yeah, and it's, it's not just helping someone, it's helping them help themselves. Right, exactly. It's teaching them how to fish, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then it's sustainable because they're no longer in our food lines. They're doing it themselves and there's such dignity and pride, the healthy kind of pride that comes with saying, I can do this, I can do this, you know? So there's women's empowerment, right. there's children's feeding, um, which comes comes along with an education, 390,000 kids per day, per school day, get a meal from Convoy of Hope. Okay, wait, say that number again. 390,000 kids per school day, they eat, you know, five days a week from Convoy, which is really cool. Yeah, roughly twice the population of Springfield. <laughs> that's a good way to think of yeah. it. Yes, that's amazing. Um, and then the last program, and one that we're really excited about with a new facility, is our agriculture initiative, which we have people who work for us. Like one of them we call Dr. Dirt. He's essentially a microbiologist and he studies the dirt. Yeah. Um, but what this facility will allow us to do is, um, I'm gonna speak layman's terms here. Please so <laughs> we basically build a greenhouse and we can recreate the climate from anywhere in the world, bring in their soil and figure out what goes best in their soil. So you're teaching the indigenous people how to farm their own land and pull entire communities out of poverty. Now, we already do that, but this is going to allow us to do that on a much bigger scale. You're, you're not only working with, with infrastructure and the growth of both. Right, that's so true. Um, like, for instance, Dr. Dirt, of course, he travels a lot, and there's more than one of him, but his is the best name. Come on, Dr. Dirt. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with that. So he, um, he goes, you know, around the world and goes and meets people, you know, in their village who are leaders in their community and just teaches them how to farm their own land. Mm -hmm. And honestly, when I first started, I was kind of like, can they not figure that out? <laughs> Which he just starts laughing at me. He was like, have you ever tried to garden? And I just about lost it because I've had a garden for three years and only one year has it been fruitful. Yeah, but someone has to show you. And unless that person is there, you just have dirt and you don't know what kind it is. Let's remind people how they can get involved with the work of Convoy of Hope. Yeah, so our biggest thing is donations, convoyofhope.org. You can ear what specifically you want it to go to, like which program or which disaster. Um, and then also we, with this new facility, we have Hands of Hope every Tuesday night. So group boxes. Um, I saw it now, but at one point it was, they packaged the box. Volunteers. You said the word volunteers. You need volunteers. All right, we apologize for the technical difficulties. I mean, it's a really rainy day. You never know what you're going to get on a day like this, but you got the 
message from Sarah Forehats about the history and the impact of Convoy of Hope, not only, you know, of course, based here in the Ozarks, but the impact it has all over the world. So convoyofhope.org is where you can go to learn more about it. And uh, we're so proud of the work they do. And uh, we appreciate you hanging with us. And I'm sure that you got the message regardless of the weather. So, okay, up next, what is going on in Hollywood?